Here is another interesting tool that you can use you might not be familiar with and this is called the 345 rule. If you measure one side of a triangle and it is three feet and you measure another side and it is four feet then um, the hypotenuse or the line here on the triangle um, should be five feet to create a 90 degree angle or a square and of course this can be in uh, either direction the triangle can be turned around rotated flipped around however you need it to be and uh, it will create a 90 degree corner now this three four five rule this this can apply um, to uh, three inches four inches five inches 30 feet 40 feet or 50 feet any increments measured um, by three four and five so as you'll see later um, on in the video you know let's just say that I doubled this number to six and uh, then I would need to double this one to eight and then double this one to ten and it would work out also so definitely a handy tool I've been using it for years and to give you an idea here if I had three feet and I had four feet but the line was was over to the left and we measured it the hypotenuse and it was five foot three and fifteen sixteenths inches then we would have a 98 degree angle not a square same thing over here if it's smaller the hypotenuse of the triangle is smaller then we are we're going to have a um, angle that's going to be less than 90 degrees so if it's leaning over to the left it's going to be more than 90 degrees leaning over to the right it's going to be less than 90 degrees and all you need to do to fix that will be to simply move this line back over now let's take a look at a couple of examples to give you an idea I know a lot of you are like uh, if you're not familiar with this 345 rule what the heck am I going to use it for and uh, really what um, I use it for the most will be checking something to see if it's square like a patio slab let's say I'm going to pour a patio slab or a building foundation and um, all I need to do is um, go to a point here and, and here I have it is we have it at six foot and eight foot so if I was going to pour a patio slab six foot by eight foot all I need to do is, is measure the diagonal and if it's 10 foot then I know it's square and that would be from either side 10 foot now if it's 10 foot and a quarter inches then I then I'm gonna have to I'm gonna have to pull one of the lines in a little bit until it gets to 10 foot and uh, it might not seem like a, a big deal you know you don't might not have to get a patio slab square but a, a building foundation is definitely going to work better if it is square so let's go ahead and move the line in and we can see here that it is not working out and of course uh, we'll need to be moved back so this is the square part here you measure something and the angle is a little less um, then you're probably going to have to move the line over to make it uh, a little wider so that you can get your your measurement that you need so uh, an example of it here now let's go ahead and move it uh, another side here and again if it's going to be a little less here we're going to measure it a little less we got some dimensions here so we know that it's going to have to go out and it would look something like this and if the if the line is out farther then the hypotenuse or the diagonal measurement is going to be longer then you're going to have to bring it in so it's not too difficult if the line if the measurement is less than the number you're looking for um, in our example here we're looking for 10 foot if it's less than 10 foot then this line is going to have to go out and sometimes all you need to do is move it a quarter of an inch just take and beat the form over a little bit and you are in business and now you would have a square um, slab or foundation now when we're dealing with larger 
measurements. Let's just go with a 10 by 10. This 3 foot by 4 foot by 5 foot is not going to do us a lot of good. We're going to need to increase the um, numbers and uh, that's not difficult to do. As I mentioned, all you need to do is uh, double them, triple them, multiply them by a variety of different increments. But this is definitely going to be more helpful because um, if all we have to do is come to here, then this part of the building might be square. But if this line is not straight, or this line isn't straight, then we're going to have a problem. So as I mentioned, if I was to multiply the number 3 in my 3, 4, 5 rule, and I multiplied it by 8, I'm going to get 24. And then I'm going to have to multiply the other number, 4, by 8, and then that's going to give me 32. And then the number 5 times 8 is going to give me 40. So something like this is going to work a lot better for a 40 foot by 30 foot concrete um, or a building foundation than a 3, 4, 5 rule. So that's going to be the key to this 3, 4, 5 rule is um, multiplying the numbers. And then, of course, making sure that you multiplied the numbers correctly to uh, make sure that uh, uh, all of the measurements work. I mean, the last thing you want to do is, is uh, have 24 and then multiply this one and you have 30 and you're trying to figure out just how in the heck you can't get 40. And again, if you come in, if you run into a situation like that where the numbers aren't jiving, double check them. Make sure that you did the math correctly. So anyway, that is it for the 3, 4, 5 rule. And uh, I'm trying to create some videos on basic construction, basic home construction, and some of the things that you need to familiarize yourself with if you don't know very much about home building um, repairs or remodeling.